Hello. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to check if a string is a palindrome in Python. So, what are palindromes? They are words that spell the same backwards as forwards, or read the same backwards as forwards. So, mom, dad, abkaba, these are palindromes. So, what does it mean to be the same forward as backward? Well, one of the ways to look at it is are the outer letters the same? The first and last? M is the same as M. Okay, so that's good so far. Is O the same as O? Yes. So that's good. So mom is a palindrome. Are A and A the same? Yes. Are B and B the same? Yes. Is C the same as C? Yes. So we'll implement a function that does that. Call it is pal going to take a word. So if the length of the word is less than or equal to 1, we'll say it is a palindrome. Else, what we need to do is keep checking the first and last parts. So we can say left equals 0, right equals the length of the word minus 1 and while left is less than right if word character at index left equals word character at index right we want to make left one bigger we want to make right one smaller and then continue they do not equal, we need to return false. So if it gets through the entire word with left and right meeting each other in the middle, and it's always true, truth right there, we need to return true. So let's test this. Um, well, first, let's put a bad palindrome here. Bad. <laughs> Actually, bad is a bad example, because the B kind of looks like a backwards D. I'm a bag. No, that's like an upside-down B. Bat. Yeah, no problem there. So for X in examples, if is pal, example, print, yes. Let's see what that does for us. Mom, dad, A, B, C, D, A. Not bat. That is a success. So let's try and do this a different way. Let's define Still takes a word. Um, order. Less than equal to one. Return true, just like last time. Else, let's say if the character at index zero equals the character at index negative one which is the last character, then we have a new word, and that is the old word from the first character up until but not including the last character. And then we need to return the result of this function call 
on this new word. So the new word is basically taking off the first and last. So kind of similar to the previous function. Um, if that case was not true, we need to return false. Okay, so let's test that. Yep, works. Okay, only three more. This is going to be slightly more straightforward. Um, we're just going to return a comparison of the original word and the string join operator with the reverse of the word. Trust me, you have to use this join the return value of this to force it into a string because this is a string. Test. Good. This is going to end up being the most straightforward implementation. Uh, word equals word negative one. If you've never seen this, this copies the list or array in reverse order. Hmm. one. Not as straightforward as these. Interesting nonetheless. This is, I guess, closer to the first one. Just a different way of writing it. Amen. Okay. So, in the first one, had a left pointer, we had a right pointer. They started at opposite ends. One increased, one decreased. They met in the middle. So as soon as this condition fails, they're either the same value or the right value is less than the left value. So that means it's gotten to the middle. And that's why we return true if it works. So in this implementation, we're just going to create a loop. The length of the word over 2. We only need half. Now, if word i doesn't equal word uh, negative i plus 1, we return false if they are equal all the way down then the for loop will end and we'll return true let's test that nope, nope. so that is five ways to do the same thing and in the next video I will show you how to test and see which one is faster.